Hey guys, it's Marco from Marco Getch Music. Just making a quick follow-up video to my M Audio M Track 2x2 review. And I did find one thing that I'm not really a fan of with this audio interface, and that's this strange buzzing sound that it produces uh, if your computer settings are set up incorrectly. Um, essentially what happens, you can either have your studio monitors hooked up or your studio monitor headphones. And while you're recording, whether it's your guitar or your voice, when you listen to the playback, it causes a bit of a buzz. So all I wanna show you guys in this video is how to get rid of that issue. So this is actually a pretty easy fix. All you're looking to do is to take a look at this USB knob, USB and direct knob, shift it to about this level at least. Um, and what this knob essentially does is it's just telling your computer and your, your sound card, um, you know, what amount of frequencies do you want flowing through your computer and how much do you want it to be analog. So you don't want this to be fully USB, fully electronic. You want to twist the knob a little bit so it's not 100% USB. And on your computer settings, what you want to do is change it from, if it's 100% volume, and I'm going to show a little bit of a recording, shift it to 80% volume. Um, I'm not quite sure why they designed it this way, but it's the quick and easy fix. You're not going to get that buzzing feedback sound on the M Audio M track, and uh, it'll definitely make your recordings sound a heck of a lot better. So um, if you picked it up and you were confused immediately, you know, the second you set it up, um, it's a quick fix. There's a link on their website. I can send it to you guys as well. And uh, yeah, everything else should work correctly. So happy recording. Let me know if that worked for you. And Last but not least, please subscribe, small channel, trying to grow here. Um, if you want to see some guitar videos and more music content from my end, uh, be sure to check the channel out and, and keep in touch. Till next time, see you later. Bye. A lot of cool goodies that came in this box. I figured uh, I kind of wanted to upgrade my equipment a little bit, my setup, simply because uh, I was doing mobile recording for the longest time. I was actually using iRig and iPad, and it was a pretty budget setup. So um, the downside there was I didn't get a lot of good feedback. I didn't have studio.